Hey y'all, it's Charla from the Hartzell Homestead, back here with you on the Creative Retreat Kits YouTube channel with one more entry uh, using the February kit, What Jesus Needs. I have really enjoyed uh, working in this month's study and wanted to record a takeaway and some reflections in my Creative Retreat Reflections journal. Now, this is a project that I started last year to give me some space to keep reflections and notes from each study after I've spent some time in my Bible. And it's a large enough journal that I'm just continuing on uh, for a second year in the same space. The entries look different each month simply because it is a creative space for me. I don't try to, you know, cookie cutter them. I don't try to turn it into some sort of workbook. It just gives me more room to work outside of the margins of my Bible. And it gives me plenty of open space to do that. I'll note what type of journal this is. I have shared it before, but in case you missed that, I'll just jot it down below in the notes. I love these notebooks. I found them at Walmart uh, because I have the ability to remove the pages and work on them and then return them back to the spirals without any issues. That way I can, I can put paint on them. I can play with them. I can trim them. I can do all kinds of stuff without the bulkiness or the, um, you know, the spiral in the middle kind of getting in the way. And I really do enjoy that. So on the screen today, you're going to see me working rather quickly because we are in super fast forward mode. Now it actually took me about 25 minutes to put this page together. So I don't think I'm a fast mover at all. Um, I'm simply just going forward because it is a repetitive sort of, um, simple work. And that way you can kind of just see it come together quickly. Um, I have created my backgrounds from some kit printables. I do this a lot. I just go in and find some of those beautiful journaling cards or paper swatches. In this case, it's one of the cards. Um, and I just enlarge it to the size of my page. And then here I just backed it. So there was a simple little border, um, from scrapbook paper from my stash just to give me a pop of color. So it wasn't so much light on white. I love using the journaling cards that Danielle makes and provides because we have such beautiful artwork in digital format, so I can easily adjust it for printing. They are wonderful in the size um, that they come in, the printables, because you can print them, do projects with them, put them in your margins of your Bible without them taking up a lot of space or covering a whole page, but they also enlarge or resize very easily and in good quality. And so that's what I do here when I want to just use it as a big background on um, my page without having to spend a lot of time on the background artwork. I really wanted to focus on the words that I was putting down on the page today. Um, on the left of this two-page spread, I am building a verse where I want to do a little verse mapping and note-taking. And then on the right, I'm leaving that as a completely open space so you won't see me really do anything with it. Later, I'm going to do some handwritten notes and prayer off screen. So... The verse that I am working on today comes from our list of verses on the uh, left side, on the across the top of our uh, foldable with our devotional, and I'm pulling Luke 19 and 10, and it reads, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. Now, I am loving the extra sticker sheets for the subscribers. Every month we get this extra set of stickers, and it's wonderful for building your alpha stash but when I need to spell out a verse or several titles, I know I've got plenty of the alphas to do so and I don't get halfway through and run out of something. <laughs> so I could have simply written it out. But again, one of the reasons I love creative Bible journaling is that it keeps me seated a little bit longer uh, while I'm pondering um, the lesson or the study or the devotional. The simple act of spelling it all out here on this page in stickers is giving me a creative activity for my hands while my mind is reading the words and the verse over and over again, pondering what I want to record in my notes. Now, I love verse mapping. I've shared that before, and I love it for many reasons, but one biggie for me is that there are no wrong answers. So don't be intimidated when you see someone, you know, uh, post a a verse mapping, those are there for guides and for to help you learn a process and to help you learn what they have uh, taken away. And it can even add to what you're maybe taking away from a verse. But there are no wrong answers. It's a place for you to record what you're learning about the verse, where you are in your time with God. Um, what is he showing us today? What is he showing me today about this verse? So I'm going to record that. And it might be different tomorrow. And I can add more notes in the space. This gives me a place I can always go back to. 
And it might be different for you than it is for me. And we all have the freedom to write out what we want to record um, from our Bible studies in these spaces. As I placed my stickers, um, you'll notice that I left kind of gaps in between each row of words. Uh, that way I have room around my words so that I could write in a few notes and takeaways. Now, while I was laying it all out, I did choose to highlight the words seek and save in pink um, so that I could bring some attention to those action words here in this verse. Jesus, the Son of Man, seeks us. Now, the Son of Man is in that first line, and I pulled a uh, Jesus uh, sticker, the sticker with uh, Jesus on it from our sticker sheet to use that as kind of a highlight, pulling that up as part of my mapping. But he seeks us, which means he's act actively, excuse me, actively moving in our hearts to convict us, to draw us to him and to save us from our sins. He brings us out from our sinful life through forgiveness, uh, his forgiveness, his mercy, his grace. And to go on in the verse, I love the word was here because it is past tense. If we have answered his call, if we've answered his seeking, if we've answered his drawing on our heart, then we are saved if, and, and we're no longer lost. So it's, it's a past tense for us and we're in a new life. And his mission has been fulfilled in us so that we can walk with him and help lead others to him. Now that's not his full mission. His mission is to come and to save us. But for our lives, we continue to be fulfilled as we walk with him. Um, it's not just a, a one and done. We are opening up a brand new life with Jesus when we answer his call, I believe. So I did use the sticker from the kit as my title, pointing down to focus uh, on that, his mission, and uh, kind of pointing down, look here, this is really, this is why he came. This is why he went to the cross, so that um, we would be saved through him. And then, of course, as always, I'm going to finish up my page with coordinating wonky hearts to fill up any void space and add some color. And I did also note the verse location at the bottom of the page with alphas and a little heart as well, just so that it was noted down there. I hope y'all have enjoyed being here with me today. I've enjoyed working and sharing um, on this, um, this devotional with you, and I hope you have a very blessed day.